Hello everyone, Caduce here, co-founder of Informail. I wanted to make this quick piece of content on spin tax. I've made this before, but I just wanted to give you an upgraded version on how you can actually write your email, make sure that you know it's not spammy, that you're using ChatGPT to add the spin tax to see how many variations you have with the spin tax just so you can send. And by the way, you know your warm-up can be a lot shorter when you use spin tax. You can basically get way, way better deliverability when you use spin tax. So please pay attention. If you want to shorten your warm-up, get better deliverability, get more reply rates, make more money, then definitely watch this video. So Getting right into it, uh, I use Mail Meteor, so I wrote a, you know a quick email here. Obviously, this is not a real offer, but this is just something that I wrote. Hi XX, I saw your ecom brand, you know whatever brand on LinkedIn. Has have, has your brand ever gone viral? I'm asking because we help YY we helped YY go viral on TikTok, and they generated 44k in revenue in under 48 hours. We can install this viral machine for your brand, so you can use it forever. No paid ads or retainers. May I send you over a custom video, a custom three minute video with more info, right? So as you can see, this is a great email, 70 words, right? Which is like half of what the recommended is. By the way, um, you know, writing an email, you wanna have it 150 words or less. If it's like this, 60, 70, 80 words, I mean, this is perfect. And the call to action obviously is not, you know, for a call, so you're gonna get a lot more positive replies, a lot more, you know, high intent leads. So. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take this, right, and you obviously need to create Spintax. So what Spintax allows you to do, and I'll show you kind of briefly what it is, is it will allow you to create variations of your email, right? And I, like I said, I made a video on this in the past, but I just wanna reiterate it here. You can create many variations of one email. It can literally be millions of emails that get sent out that are just the same content, same messaging, but slightly different, right? Um, and it's really cool. So I wrote this email here and I went to ChatGPT, right? And as you can see right here, I put, please take this email I give you and create an email with syntax with many variations without changing the original messaging, right? And then it, said, it asked me to provide the email, I provided the email, and then it basically just started, um, you know, adding a little bit of syntax. and because of the XX, I think it got confused because of the random uh, letters I was putting. But I just put add syntax using these brackets, which is what instantly uses. And then it just basically, you know, hi, name there, um, you know, hi, name, hi there. I noticed your e-com brand, e-com store, e-com shop on LinkedIn. Great spin tax here, right? And then you, you're gonna wanna take this, right? And I, I told it to add more and add more and add more, right? And then you're gonna wanna take this to a website called spin.me, which is sp1n.me, right? And then you're gonna actually see how many variations you have with that you know, email that you wrote. So in this situation right here, right? Oops, just like this. I think I just completely messed it up here. But um, I'm gonna paste it back what I, you know, what I had on in ChatGPT. So the, the very final one was this right here, right? Obviously, we don't wanna change the, uh, the closer because we want to we want to have us you know have it be our name so um it also did it for this part which again this is only name right so hi howdy hello hey greeting so every time your email sends right it's going to say hi you know you know my name's caduce right howdy caduce hello caduce hey caduce greetings caduce right and then it's going to say i noticed your ecom brand ecom store ecom shop ecom business ecom enterprise on linkedin has your has your brand ever gone viral so this right here has 15,000 variations. So every single time this email sends, it's gonna it's gonna have 15 over 15,000 variations. And I can just keep adding on to this by just adding more spin tax, right? So in this situation, for example, I may I send you over a custom video, um, and I can put like right here, I could put, and I want you to pay attention, right, to how, you know, how spin tax compounds. So when you start in the beginning and you only change three or four or five things, you're not gonna really get that many numbers, a number of results. But the more you change, when you're at that 15, 20, 25 range, any little minute change, any, you know, adding on, you know, from 25 to 26 is gonna give you way more combinations. So your spin tax just increases like crazy. So pay attention here, it's at 15,625 number of results. I'm gonna change this to video, and I'm gonna put, um, you know, uh, so a three minute video, three minute, I'm gonna just call, call it an audit, right? So that just doubled it, right? Literally it doubles it every single time, right? So if I change something else, let's say with more info, more, uh, let me say more information, just elongate the word, right? And just like that, now it's at, let me see where it's at, uh, info information, so 62,000, right? So every single time it's doubling, it went from 15 to 30, then it went to from 30 to 60, right, 62. So if I add, let's say here, uh, warm regards, best regards, kind regards, sincerely, cheers, and then I put best, then I put thanks, um, you know, or I put best wishes, which is another great one, right? Now, I have literally 100,000. 100,000, right, um, variations, <laughs> which is insane. I mean, every single time this email sends, it's gonna go based off of each close, it's gonna rotate, right, um, and basically give you way more variations, okay? So you're gonna wanna take this email here, Okay, and let's, let's actually change this up right here because this is not the right format of an email. So right here, you're gonna wanna take this email, paste it into instantly, right? And boom, just like that. Now, you're gonna wanna correct it. Give me a second here. So I just fixed the email. So you see all this right here. And then now, if I go to preview, right? Basically shows me all these, you know, the, the spin tax part. That's actually incorrect uh, spin tax, but you're gonna need to wanna put double brackets on every single thing, and then I'll fix it. Okay, so now I just added the double brackets. It was single bracket last time. So now we preview it, and you're gonna see greetings, right? And then now if I, let's say, do it again, you're gonna see greetings again, I guess. 
uh, hello, right? And then howdy, then you have uh, howdy again. And it's gonna keep changing, right? And you can see ecom, brand, ecom shop goes to different ones, ecom enterprise, ecom brand enterprise, right? Uh, just all these things basically change, right? Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is awesome stuff. I and mean, actually, this is actually uh, supposed to be like this. And then now it'll actually ecom ecom uh, store, right? So then now ecom shop, and then now ecom store again, and then ecom store again, and then ecom enterprise. So, you know, it, it just adds a lot of variation. So now when I have this, right, and I paste it back, let's say pack it back into it, now I'll have 100,000 variations. So every single time, you know, if you're sending 1,000 emails a day, no one email is gonna be the same. So that allows you to get better deliverability, and you can even condense the warm up. So if you wanna warm up for a week, for example, and then, you know, do 40, you know, uh, warm up emails and 10 campaign emails, and you have so much of that spin tax in there, you're just gonna do way better than the average person. So please, don't be average, use spin tax, and keep making money.